Hi everyone, it's Ami Siata from Clean Body Living coming to you on day five of the video challenge. And today I'm going to talk to you about the third principle of clean body living, clean eating. But food and clean eating are really the foundation of our health. If you think about it, the food that we eat becomes digested, goes into our bloodstream, and then goes to our cells and our organs. So it's really important that we are paying attention to the foods that we're eating and really nourishing our bodies because it really determines whether we're going to thrive or whether we're going to develop disease. Now, my definition of clean eating is eating a diet of whole, unprocessed foods without toxins. So eating an organic diet of whole, unprocessed foods. But it's a progression, definitely a progression. Right here, I have some green juice and I have some goji berries. And this green juice is made with cabbage, kale, celery, carrots, lime, and a pear. And goji berries are one of the top superfoods in the world and it has the most antioxidants. Some of you here may have never had green juice or had goji berries, but you know what? That is okay because you don't have to start drinking green juice and incorporating goji berries into your diet right away. It's a slow progression. The first thing you want to do is start incorporating fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds into your diet so that you can slowly get rid of the processed foods that you're, that you're currently eating. Now, processed foods are anything that are in a bag or a box and has multiple ingredients. So think your cereals, your wheat thins, your pop tarts, all of those things are processed foods. You wouldn't find them in nature. So you want to incorporate the whole unprocessed foods, as I mentioned, into your diet so that you don't really have room for the unprocessed foods. I'm, I, I'm really into adding foods into your diet versus subtracting because you really don't want to deprive yourself because then that'll just make you want to eat more of it. So add these foods into your diet. Then once you have the whole unprocessed foods in your diet and you're eating a lot of them, then you can start moving towards eliminating certain foods that really bother you, like inflammatory foods if you have a chronic illness. As I mentioned before, dairy and um, actually eating meat is really inflammatory for those who have chronic illnesses, particularly autoimmune diseases. You want to really limit those foods. And then you can start moving to eating an organic diet. And then you can start moving towards incorporating superfoods and juicing and smoothies into your diet. But you have to start slowly. Start from where you are and progress slowly. You definitely don't want to go from eating a diet of processed foods or Liberian food, as some of you might know, I'm from Liberia, to eating a vegan diet, a raw vegan diet. And a friend of mine tried to do that overnight and it didn't work. He only stuck with the diet for two weeks. But if he had slowly incorporated those foods into his diet, he would have had more success. So that's what I'm urging you to do. Do take one tip add fruits and vegetables, do one thing at a time until you feel comfortable with it, until you it's a regular part of your diet, you're enjoying it, and then you can start adding more things into your diet. Now, if you want to get more tips on how you can slowly integrate these changes into your diet, connect with me on my website, cleanbodyliving.com. I send out a newsletter every two weeks with tips about clean eating and all the other principles of clean body living. So I urge you to go there. You can sign up. It's right on the sidebar. And also connect with me on social media. I know you're probably watching this on Facebook or Twitter, but you can please connect with me on my page, Clean Body Living, like my page for updates, Twitter, Clean Body Living, and Instagram. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please share it with your friends. And I look forward to talking to you tomorrow where we'll be discussing the fourth principle of clean body living, stress management. Now have a good night and I'll talk to you tomorrow.